still respectable numbers. Yeah, and we got special guest here today, K9S Bruce versus S2H going on right now. And we got the we got the new uh, SoCal Classic of uh, Wolf. Oh yeah, this is, this, this is a new Fox basically. <laughs> like, and Fox is still Fox, and yeah, still S2H still rocking the Meta Knight. Mm -hmm. One of the few actually still rocking the Meta Knight even after the. The game change. Let's yeah. see how he does, though. He hasn't gotten hit so far, but he's finally going to get nared into a grab, down throw into a dash attack. Already Ooh, a big forty percent from one opening. Yeah, but that's going to be it, though. Calling out, calling out S two H or S two H K nine being out there a little too long. Mm -hmm. As long as the wolf doesn't already start the up B, if you can catch him before he drifts to the stage where he thinks he is in a safe area to start the up B, then you're usually in a good spot to try an edge guard. Once the up B comes out, it gets a little bit harder because that hitbox is too big. You, yeah, you have to be really confident in your hitbox and your spacing. Because, yeah, one wrong move and you're getting just thrown off the side. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. So right now, S2H not, not approaching too much. He knows once you try to approach wolf, that's where you take all the damage. Alright, goes in with a dash attack, tries to wait out the defensive option, wasn't able to quite catch that air dodge behind him. But we got the trip, not able to find another roll chase afterwards though. I like how patient SOH is being right now, he knows just the second you try to commit too much, again you're going to take that damage, and K9 is not, he's not over committing, he's trying to bait S2H in, but it's not working right now. Right. A down smash? Alright, that time K9 decides to commit with a run in there. Not able to get anything else though. He thought he could get the stage control, but Meta Knight, pretty fast character. It's easy here for him to come back, but it's not oh. able to come back from that back air, killing without even the red lightning coming out. I didn't think he was gonna die there. But that is that is Wolf. You think you're safe, and then all of a sudden, still, K9 not too far behind. He needs to find that one opening. He's not trying to commit too much. He's just throwing out the lasers. He's playing the neutral. S2H is doing a good job of uh, keeping away from these lasers, too. That laser comes out fast and it's transcended, so it's hard to avoid it sometimes. Wow! wow. I didn't think that was going to work. That, that, that is... S2H does that so well. He's so good at calling out your rolls with that S smash, just mm -hmm. making you feel bad. I think that was one of those hard reads where it's like, okay, this is the worst possible option you could do, and that therefore you're going to pick it. <laughs> <laughs> because it's like, why would you ever want to roll like off stage, like closer to your death? S2H able to call it out though. Gets a big brain play over there. Alright, back throw him off the stage. Yeah. K9 committing a little bit too hard with this drift into the shield. Doesn't quite cross up on the shield to be able to get a, a safe aerial onto him. Ooh, just barely getting out space by the uh, Meta Knight's forward air. Oh, he rolled in again. Yeah. He, he had the right idea, but didn't quite find the right side either. Alright, let's see. Forward throw. Tech check situation. Just gets I another re -grab. Just gets a down throw for it. I, I was expecting maybe a dash tag. I like the empty hop. Forward throw. A lot of pressure from Wolf's aerials, and he's able to get a free grab out of it. There's a lot of pressure going on, but still, that stock is it's sitting there pretty. Trying to contest it with the down air. Not going to get much. Yeah. Gets a laser. S2H decides to back away. Is like, okay, I got hit by one laser. I'll just uh, give it to him. Four tilt, still not able to do it. But, but on S the ledge, that'll definitely... Oh, shield just looking so thin. Yeah, kick him out of there. Yeah, that's <laughs> back finally able to do it. Just catch that spot dodge. Now, I mean, we've seen Wolf burst uh, Wolf. a lot of damage once he finds an opening. So I can see Wolf can after two openings uh, getting me back to 90%. Yeah, definitely K9 needs maybe one conversion. There's a dash attack. This is where it happens. He just needs that one grab, that one dash tag, and he'll get so much damage. And he could even potentially kill early with the down smash. Yeah. Sometimes in certain scenarios, you do have to read like the tech option or something like that. But most of the time, Wolves can get some pretty reliable damage in the beginning. Wow, that landing there. S2H was ready to intercept him in the air, but K9 went aggressive. That worked out for him just fine. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Sometimes you on the down throws and other situations, you have to find a tech chase. Otherwise, you reset the situation. And K9 honestly has brought this back. He's, he's got him at 75%, and each laser is a good 9 or 10%, and that, that adds up eventually. But another S-Mass read. Yeah, sometimes Wolves will love to do that landing there as a constant hitbox. Very reliable to get yourself out of most situations, but just kind of missed space that there. Meta Knight's also a really small character, so the F-Smash was already out before he even touched the ground. Mm -hmm. yeah, S2H going to take that game one. Still, K9 was bringing that back. As long as he, as long as he can keep his composure, not overcommit too much, 
try not to get opened up by S2H uh, too much. He'll be able to. He'll be able to take game two. Yep. So, do we run it back? I think so. Uh, it kind of sucks. I, I'm like I'm used to waiting for the stage select after we're done talking for a bit, but it looks like they are running it back. And especially a lot of people will, will select the stage really fast. Yeah, that's true too. All right, goes in immediately. Dash attack into up smash. Big 23% to start things off here. But you know, getting his own down throw dash attack of his uh for a good amount of damage and taking the lead. Mm -hmm. Good parry too. Yep. Be able to get a punish afterwards. Yeah, that's the, one of the things about landing with aerial. Sometimes, uh, depending on the character, if the timing is a little strict on how you land with an aerial, then you can parry it relatively easily. Mm -hmm. I think that's definitely what's going to be fighting, make fighting wolf really good. Because a lot of wolves will land with the the fair, not the fair, but the nair and the back air. Yeah. And those, y you can tell when they're going to do that. This should be an edge guard. Okay, I like the I like the early wolf flash. Mm -hmm. uh, S2H was expecting him to wait a little bit, try to wolf flash a little later down. He's like, no, I want to leave now. I want This is my chance. Yeah. Some wolves will avoid using wolf flash just because it doesn't sweet spot very reliably onto the ledge. But sometimes it's good for a quick recovery when you know your opponent's pressing buttons. You can get past them really easily. Ooh, that was Oh, he was actually dead, too. He's still dead. <laughs> <laughs> True. Roll rush, really good option. Yeah. I don't know if that laser was quite what he wanted to do, but... Uh, he wanted to do, like, wall jump laser onto stage. Uh-huh. Something like that. And uh, unfortunately, he messed up the timings. Right. Forward throw. None of uh, Wolf's throws really send people far except for maybe back throw. So it's just for stage control more than anything. Mm -hmm. He gets a trip again in the back throw. SOH really just rely. Uh, he, he values the edge guard instead of trying to get like one of uh, Meta Knight's like, longer combos or trying to do a ladder combo. He's like, if I get you off stage, I can kill you earlier with less work than trying to do a ladder. I guess that re-grab. What's he going to do with it? Oh, I'll try to elicit some pressure with dash dancing. Try to get your roll or something. But didn't quite find it. But S2H tries to land on the ground. Canine's ready for it. Gets that dash attack. 16% for the, the gun plus the blaster. Yep. The little bayonet makes it a little bit <laughs> of an extra kick there. Speaking of kick, uh, S2H getting another roll read in with the F smash. This time we're going to actually stay on stage, go for a bit of a combo. Right now, S2H seemingly, he, he's popping off. He's getting his damage in. He's ready to end this. Oh, the forward tilt. I like that space around it. Baited out the shield grab. Got a nice forward tilt afterwards. Ooh. Ooh. The missed grab going to get hit by the F smash. Yeah, even the charge, too. I think S2H knew that he was going to miss it right there. That was that was that was a that was a really hard call out there too. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. tech chase into down smash. I have to write that one down. That was a good uh, option coverage. There. It's it's so scary. But calling him out with the back air. So really good uh, stuff. Definitely S2H kind of kind of loafing around up there. He knows he has a lot of jumps, so he's gonna be up there for a while. S2H just calling him out. If there was ever time to do it, it'd be then. Gets a parry on the laser. Gets a forward smash in there. The wolf fang fist. <laughs> I like that. I mean, he literally does Yamcha's pose in his like character select screen. It is. I, I, it I'm is pretty pre sick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was like intentional too. But anyways, how does he get back to the stage though? Decides to wait on the platform. I like this. The patience from K9, not trying to rush himself, coming back into the neutral. Now he's got himself in a good position, but gonna get clipped by that back air. Now he's put himself in a bad position again. The laser in the wrong direction. These two are just trading positioning back and forth here. Oh, but right now, K9 has the stage control. Trying to call him out the jump again. Late hit dash tech still going to punt him up a little bit. Oh, man. He didn't hit the tech, so I thought that was going to give oh. Vestuation enough time to do something. That could have been an up smash out of shield. Yeah, an up smash. That definitely could have been the option. But just getting a throw. This is where it's going to be scary. Yeah, not going to go overcommit too much. Oh, I'm just right. waiting for that up smash out of shield. He hasn't used that. Okay, Speak of the devil, yeah. Okay, okay. I was like, he hasn't used that option like at all. I'm pretty sure he's saving it for... Uh, do or die situation, and there it is right there. And he did it, and he died. <laughs> so, yeah, and K9 going to take that. Really, really good stuff. Going to FD, really good stage for Meta Knight. You have all this room to do your long extended combos, and you're restricting off access for the fact that Wolf doesn't have reliable landing options. Or not reliable, but Wolf is going to look for a place to land. Right. We're going to FD. I don't know... How I feel about this, just because that laser is going to be a little bit more prominent on the stage without the platforms, 
But at the same time, I can see why S2H might have picked the stage specifically against K9 because he was using a really good job of using those platforms and bring it back into neutral and advantage position reversaling. Mm -hmm. So I can see like FD a little bit more neutral. If you're stuck in the corner, you might as well be there just because it's kind of hard to bring it back. Mm -hmm. And again, yeah, Esther is just gonna, he has all this room to do his, like, long extended combos. Okay. Okay, up airs into forward airs. So we'll deep. Not gonna really get a big finisher, but 59% really brought him back into the mix. Yep. Gets the bayonet out, and the forward tilt. Getting a lot of damage onto S2H. Let's see how he picks the option here. Meta Knight a little short, so landing that back air is going to have some strict timing. That's what makes it easier for a character like Meta Knight to parry those back airs and landing nares as well. All right, trading with the nair there. Kicking him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was so fast. Yeah. Very reliable kill option, especially against the lightweights like Meta Knight. Yeah, you know, Rage didn't really want to go to the ledge. He tried to get cheeky and land on stage, and, S and K9 having a dash attack out there to clean it up. So right now, K9 is looking really good. If he wins this game, definitely S2H is probably going to be a little disappointed. He had that chance to close it out game two, but but you know we're edge out there, we're edge guarding Wolf. That's what you got to do. Yeah, especially when he's far out like that. Don't give him enough time to actually start up the up B, like I said before. Oh, the Ooh, parry. Great parry. But Meta Knight's dash attack still going to cross you up sometimes. Mm -hmm. I like that little B reverse. Just trying to put himself in the right positioning again. Oh, grabbing him. The, grabbing him instead of a canine grabbing him. Getting the dash attack. Neutral B? Oh, unfortunately, the Nair's going to carry him off to the other side. I don't... It would have been close if it was it. But it would have been really good damage. And then S2H could have just gone for another edge guard. Right. But still, it's still even percent situation so it's not the worst thing in the world I like the immediate spot dodge into down smash usually see like a wolf will do that or something like that but Meta Knight using it too still not quite finding anything to try and get the kill yet and K9's using that time to try and bring it back return to neutral trying to get a tech chase situation doesn't get that either but he gets the back air puts him off stage yet again I think S2H is maybe kind of extending his jumps too much to be in the air wow scooping him up I, I feel like S2H is extending a lot of his jumps to be in that like upper area where Wolf can't hit you without committing. And then once he comes down, uh, K9 knows all I have to do is dash attack. Right. He's kind of just showing his hand a little too early, and it's really it's cost him a lot of stocks. Right now, Scott trying to call out a lot of get up but none of them really hitting there. Right. Okay, K9 with a very slight lead. I mean, as long as he can kind of steamroll the lead on this last stock, he should be in good position. Already getting 29%. S2H yet to find his stock yet. Yeah, right now, this is, this, this is that point in time where you see S2H kind of struggle when you're down, and he's like, oh, I know I should be winning. He, he, he starts to overcommit a lot, and he's throwing out a lot of these moves, and all you need to do is just stay patient like, S, uh, like K9 is doing, and you get so much percent. Oh, he's trying like to that. find a last-minute kill option there. Not quite going to be able to find it. This okay. is one of those things is because you're so focused on, ah, oh, his lead is increasing more and more. But then as you try to fish for these kills, then you just extend the lead more for your opponent. Going to get that down throw, put him in another offstage positioning. And he's already he's already lapped him in percent. Mm -hmm. One good fair, one good up air uh, at this kind of stage. Might be able to do it. Back throw? No, not going to be it. But again, this this is looking all but done for S2H. Right now you that jump in to cancel the momentum. Goes back to the stage with the flash. Ooh, down, ha back into down smash. That's going to be the strongest. This is where S2H is going to need one of those patented Meta Knight ladders. All right, right now S2H knows he, he has one win condition. And it's, I need that dash tag. I need that hit. I either need to take him off the cop or edge guard him off the side. Right. So he's going to try to stay a little bit. A little bit neutral, like, and safe, but the second he gets that hit, he knows that's his chance. He needs to go in. Mm -hmm. K9, all he needs to do is just use those lasers, maybe throw in a dash tech every once in a while, and he's going to be good. Tries to run in with that Nair. Isn't able to find anything. I mean, like we said before, K9, he can just keep patient. Doesn't really need to commit too hard to anything. Why give S2H more opportunities to really bring this back around? He's like, a f oh. there it is, yeah. There we go. Like I said, that, that dash tech every once in a while, and you can find it. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, that's the, uh, I believe that's the last match of quarters. Yeah, now we're just going into winter semis. Yeah. Uh, that's Kim. And then, Jamex.
Are we peaking mics or no? Are, are our mics peaking or no? Are, huh? Are they peaking? No? Okay. Alright. But yeah, that was the last... In my, in, my, in my ear, it sounds like we're peaking. So that's why I was like, huh, that's weird. But anyways... Yeah, that was the last set of winner's quarters. We're going to go into winner's semis. Good stuff to K9. He was definitely on the verge of getting just two owed right out of winner's quarter. Oh, is this myself? Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Anyways... So good stuff to K9. He's he kept his composure. He brought that all the way back. He really just made 